Building water is an incredibly important resource. Every living thing on Earth, including us, needs it to survive. Plants need water to grow and then absorb important nutrients from the soil. But have you ever wondered, how do plants drink? For this experiment, you will need water, food colouring, glasses or cups, and some flowers. Ideally, long stemmed white flowers like roses or carnations are really good for this experiment. You can even do it with celery sticks if the leaves are still on the ends. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those growing in my garden, so today I'll be making flowers out of tissue paper. To start off, I'm going to make some flowers out of tissue paper. To make a nice long stem, I'm going to roll it up like this and then twist off the top and rip back a few pieces to look like petals. You can also use paper towel for this. Tissues and paper towel are made from plants, so they'll be a good substitute for this experiment. Next, pour a little bit of water into each glass. I'm using about a quarter of a cup each. Then add some food dye to your water. I have four colours of food dye, so I thought it'd be fun to make a rainbow of flowers, but you can use as many or as little as you like. Finally, place your flowers in the water and watch what happens. Look at it go. The water looks like it's climbing up the tissue paper because of something called capillary action, where water and other liquids naturally flow into tiny spaces, sometimes even opposing other forces like gravity. Paper might appear quite solid, but if you look at it under a microscope, you'll see it's actually full of tiny little holes. The water flows into these tiny holes and brings the food colouring with it. And the longer you leave it, the further it will move up the paper. If you're working with real plants, they can take a few days for the colour to reach the flower, but it's well worth the wait. Thanks for joining me today. If you had fun with this experiment, you can let us know on social media using the hashtag SciTechAtHome. See you next time!